Welcome to the Unit 0 Lesson 3 Reading Practice video. In these videos, I will prompt you with a Korean word and give you time to figure out how to read it. I want you to try to figure out what the word means. So all the words are actually borrowed words from English. So if you pronounce them out, you should be able to figure out its meaning. The first word I would like you to try is this word here. I'll give you 10 seconds to try to figure out what it says, and you can start now. Okay, this word says e me e. And in English, it actually means email. I talked about this in the Unit 0 Lesson 2 reading practice video, that oftentimes learners of Korean are confused because they know that the letter E is often represented by this letter in Korean. But the thing is, if you use this letter in this situation, it would actually sound like e me e. And it's not e me e. It's e mail. So even though the letter E is here, the sound that it's making is actually this sound, the E sound, which is represented by this letter, which is why it's e mail. The next word I would like you to try is this word here. I'll give you 10 seconds and you can start now. Okay. This word says ka pe, and in English it actually means cafe. The next word I would like you to try is this word here. I'll give you 10 seconds and you can start now. This word says shopping, and in English it actually translates to shopping. The next word I would like you to try is this word here. I'll give you 10 seconds and you can start now. This word says camera, and in English it actually means camera. The next word I would like you to try is this word here. I'll give you 10 seconds and you can start now. This word says spaghetti. And in English, if you say it fast enough, it says spaghetti. Well, that was fun. I hope you learned a lot.